Hi, my name is Tyler Farah, and in this video, we're going to learn one of the most fundamental organic chemistry skills. We're going to learn to identify molecules called alkanes. Now, alkanes are so important in organic chemistry because they are the most fundamental, the simplest of all the organic molecules. The reason why is that when we think about organic molecules, we're thinking about molecules that are made mostly of carbon, or at least have a lot of carbon. And for alkanes, specifically, the only other atom that's allowed is hydrogen. A quick review of GenCam about carbon. Carbon's a super versatile atom. You can think about carbon as an atom that likes to make four bonds. A lot of the times, these are four single bonds. And if those four single bonds happen to be to other carbons or other uh, all hydrogens in this example, well, then we have an alkane. But carbon also can make double bonds in many instances, or you'll even see carbon making triple bonds in some instances. As long as carbon's making four total bonds, carbon is satisfied. You'll learn more about these other cases with double and triple bonds as you get a little bit deeper into organic chemistry. But for right now, not only do alkanes have only carbon and hydrogen, but they're also limited to single bonds. So let's take a look at an example, or several examples, of spotting what is and is not an alkane. Starting on the top left, letter A. One default technique that you can always use if you're ever unsure about really any feature of a molecule when you're given its molecular formula, you can resort back to GenChem and turn that molecular formula into an actual Lewis structure. So in this case, we have this leftmost carbon, that leftmost carbon is making three bonds to hydrogen, and bonds to hydrogen are always going to be single bonds. And then the fourth bond is over here to the next carbon in line. Similarly, that, that next carbon in line, well, he's making a bond back to the previous carbon, two bonds to hydrogen, and a bond on down the line to the next carbon in the row. You get the idea here. You might have noticed that the right side of the molecule is symmetrically identical to the left side. So we're going to end up with a molecule that is textbook alkane. All carbon and hydrogen, all single bonds. That's by the book. But take a look at letter B. Things get a little bit more dicey in letter B, and we don't always want to be drawing these Lewis structures out by hand. So instead, let's apply another technique of counting the number of bonds that each carbon atom is making. Again, our goal is to see that carbon is making four different bonds to four different atoms, because that's going to guarantee that they're all single bonds. And we already know that these CH3 groups are safe. We already saw that CH3 exhibits the features of alkanes, carbon and hydrogen, single bonds. So what that leaves us with is this central carbon to consider. And this guy is, again, making a bond backwards to the previous carbon in the chain, forwards to the next carbon in the chain. And then they tell us there's actually two of these CH3 groups. So there's a third bond to a third carbon. The fourth bond comes to this hydrogen. So just by counting the bonds, we know that this molecule is going to be an alkane. And if you want to see it drawn out, here's our central carbon with a methyl group over here, a second methyl group up here, another CH3 group over here and down here, that fourth bond to hydrogen, that checks the box for another alkane. But as we get into letters C and D, we're going to see two counter examples. Letter C is a little harder to spot. But let's apply this technique of counting bonds in letter C again. Again, we know the CH3 groups are safe, so let's look at these central carbons. We've got a bond backward to the previous carbon, forward to the next carbon, and a third bond to this hydrogen. But remember, carbon likes to make four bonds, so one of those bonds has to be a double bond. And in this case, it turns out that the central carbons have a double bond to each other, each one then having a CH3 group, and each one having a hydrogen. That double bond is what rules this out from being an alkane. Finally, in letter D, you'll spot this CL right there in the middle. That indicates that not all the atoms here are carbon and hydrogen. We've got a chlorine kind of stowed away 
in the center there, and that rules out letter D from being an alkane. 